Integrity of this group has become an integral part of me. with tears rolling down my cheeks. I remember the anxiety that I had in the initial few days. Of course, it wasn't easy for my parents or the teachers and staff of this school, but they created an atmosphere of learning which was fun and lively. With a pleasant and friendly environment, Greenwood was surely a that we were cared for and loved. Soon, my perception about school changed as it was not all books and papers. Teaching was not confined to the four walls of the classroom. Right from young age, activities that stimulated our intelligence and persona were conducted. This encouraged us to discover our talents to the fullest. With the best of the facilities, knowledge was imparted to ensure that we excelled at various levels. We were provided a platform to showcase our abilities. A lot of emphasis was given to different activities which brought out our creativity. Artistic finesse. skills are rooted in us, what makes our school truly special is the importance shown to human values. These form the core of the education at Greenwood High. With unique initiatives like environmental activities, waste management, special training for our support staff, and extending help to the less privileged, we grow into free-thinking, socially responsible citizens and contribute to a positive change in the society. Our school encourages and inspires us to dream big. It is the cornerstone for our aspirations to study in the top universities of the world. Did you know, because of the unique model that our school follows, it attracts students from across the globe. This gives us an opportunity to learn about so many cultures and traditions. It is not always about academics for us or setting big goals in life. Our life at school was filled with fun and laughter, which was an integral part of our journey. The friendships and bonds that we created here will go beyond the walls of this school and will be celebrated for a lifetime.
with a journey as enriching and beautiful as this every moment spent in this school will hold a special place in my heart and will be cherished forever my school has instilled confidence in me to face the world with this i will go out there and live every day of my life to the fullest
Victory Ceremony for the year 2023. I'm Man Shanamanthu. And I'm Lauren Maria Sargalo, and we will take you through today's Promise Ceremony. The famous Roman philosopher Seneca once said, Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Let this auspicious ceremony usher in a new beginning for our graduates.
Good evening to one and all present here. May I have the honor of extending a warm welcome to our chief guest, Dr. Yadnaswami Sundararajan. Dr. Yadnaswami Sundararajan, fondly known as Vyas Rajan, is an honorary distinguished professor in the Indian Space Research Organization. He is a well-known scientist who was closely associated with our former president of India, Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Dr. Vyas Rajan has a proven track record of excellence as a scientist, technologist, administrator, organization builder, a writer, and a poet. He hails from Tamil Nadu, but later moved to Mumbai for his schooling and college. He received his master's degree in physics from the University of Bombay in 1964. Dr. Rajan has a unique ability to combine original and innovative thinking with strong implication Im implementation skills. He has made key contributions to space research, technology, and application since 1964, and continues to be an important expert on space matters. His contribution in shaping ISRO from its experimental phase into a major service delivery organization has been remarkable. He has held various positions of responsibility across industries and shaped several key positions. In 1998, he co-authored a book named India 2020, A Vision for the New Millennium, with Mr. Abdul Kalam before his tenure as the president. Some of his other books include Discover Your Power Quotient and In Pursuit of Happiness. He has also written more than 200 articles and papers which has been published in the international journals. In 2012, Dr. Rajan was awarded Padma Shri for his contributions in science and engineering. In January 2013, he was felicitated at the India Geospatial Forum with Lifetime Achievement Award. We are immensely privileged to have you amongst us here this evening, sir. We would like to welcome you with a small token of our appreciation. May I request our chairman, Mr. Vijay Agarwal, to do the honors. Thank you, sir.
We would now like to felicitate our chairman, Mr. Vijay Agarwal, who has been a pillar of strength and the reason of success for Greenwood High. His generosity and constant support has helped us reach this pinnacle. Thank you very much, sir, for being here with us on this occasion. Kindly accept the symbol of our gratitude. Next, we have amongst us our very beloved Mrs. Neeru Agarwal, member board of trustee, who guides us in taking Greenwood High to the next level. She is always there to lend us her helping hand at times of needs. Thank you, ma'am, for gracing this occasion with your presence. We are indeed honored. Please accept this token of our love. Amongst us, we also have Mr. Manas Mehrotra, member board of trustees whose innovative ideas has made a remarkable difference in Greenwood High. Please accept a small token of appreciation from us, sir. I now welcome Mr. Jagannath Subara, member board of trustee, for taking out time for joining us here this evening. Kindly accept this as a token of our appreciation. We also have amongst us here Ms. Adrija, member board of trustee, whose young and new ideas is helping Greenwood High cope with the new challenges. We welcome you, ma'am. Amongst us, we have Mr. P.K. Mishra, member board of trustees with us this evening. Your presence is highly appreciated. Thank you, sir, for joining us. We also have Mr. Louis Dice, Principal Greenwood High Banargata, amongst us today. Thank you, sir, for joining us this evening and gracing the occasion. Next, we have Mr. Nishat Nagarwar, Vice Principal, Greenwood High International School, amongst us. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Mr. Dumelo, for doing the honors. Lord Ganesha is renowned as the Lord of Beginnings. He is both the placer and remover of obstacles. In that note, the students of grades 9 and 11 will now perform a dance invoking the benedictions of the Almighty upon this auspicious ceremony.
was indeed mesmerizing. I would now like to invite Nikhilesh Balakandan, school captain for the year 2022-23, to deliver the valedictorian's address. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within. A very good evening to each and everyone present here. Today, as we acknowledge the friendships formed, the lessons learned, the tears shed, and the laughter relished, and the memories made in our many years at Greenwood High, I'm overcome by a wave of nostalgia, as I'm sure all of you are. It's indeed a bittersweet moment for all of us. It brings immense joy to see where we have reached. Yet, it fills me with sorrow as we prepare to bid goodbye to that home of ours that has played such an intricate part in our lives. This evening, as privileged as I am, as the school captain standing before you, I'd like to take you down on a walk of the memory lane of Greenwood High 22, a milestone year for all of us graduating today. I'd like to look at our school life in Greenwood High like a Shakespearean play, happening, comic, often tragic, multifaceted, and most importantly, beyond my understanding at times. This year has been a blast, with the Vice President of India visiting our school, to the Kisa tournaments, to dance, singing, debate, extempore, elocution, quiz, and so many more competitions, to celebrating our 75th Independence Day, to the first edition of Flutus, Bake Sale, Teacher's Day, Children's Day. This year has been incredible. One of our most special achievements has been the opportunity to organize the ISC's first ever fest, Plutus. With 20 days in hand, watching <laughs> with 20 days in hand, watching the entire batch come together to make this event happen was the first day I felt this batch was something special. Batch of 2023, we killed it. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the management for all the years of nurturing and providing us with memorable experiences by organizing trips to Kur and Goa. The memories we as a batch have made on these trips will only grow fonder with time. Our principal, Mr. Aloysius de Mello, is the man behind the values instilled in the students of Greenwood High. He has been relentless in his efforts to ensure that the students stay true to the vision of the school. It was an unforgettable children's day. We all felt emotional when we heard Principal Sir sing the song, Everybody is Somebody's Fool. I remember going to him right after it and telling him how much I liked it. And he looked at me, patted my shoulder and said, son, it is the truth. Everybody does fall in love. And I was tempted to tell him the story of my sixth grade romance, but I held myself back. And there are so many more stories that I could tell today but some stories are better left untold. Our vice principal, Mrs. Elizabeth Joseph, has been our guardian angel. Thank you, ma'am, for your constant support, and you have showered us with affection throughout the year. Sir and ma'am, we will remain infinitely grateful to you for your constant support and love. 
to my teachers. This is the day to thank you all, but also the day to apologize. <laughs> for our incompetence, whether it be late submission or non-submission of homework, projects, or lab records, I'm not sure if you have been the best students, but you all were absolutely phenomenal. Our well-being has always been your prime, prime, prime concern. You believed in us more than we did in ourselves, and we cannot thank you enough for that. I've said this before, and I'm saying it again. We love each one of you, and we as students will forever be grateful. My expression of gratitude will remain incomplete if I fail to thank all those individuals who have driven us to and from school, everyone who has kept the premises clean, everyone who has cooked delicacies for us, and to all who have looked after us when we were in pain. It's because of these amazing people that we feel at home here at Greenwood High. <laughs> now, a word about the council. The council has been my biggest strength. As a team, we have had a very challenging year. We have had the shortest tenure, yet outperformed every other council present here before us at Greenwood High. <laughs> I wish the new council the very best as they sojourn through the portals of Greenwood High to create their own miracles. 14 years ago, our parents held our hands, dropped us off at school for the very first time. And now, here they are, to take us back home for the very last time. The only thing that hasn't changed in these 14 years is the tears. This time, we're crying because we don't want to leave. Parents, we thank you all from the bottom of our hearts for everything you have done for us. We are who we are because of you. Today, today we become a student of life, a proud alumni of this institution. Greenwood High gives every student with knowledge, memories, the best of facilities, the power to embrace dissent, and the courage to dream the impossible. We will never be able to give back to the school for all that it has given us. Stepping out of the green folds of this campus, we will be entering life at large. Greenwood High, it has been my absolute honor to serve you. With this, I, Nikhilesh Palakandan, will be officially signing off as your school captain. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nikhilesh, for that touching speech. I quote Anatole France, to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also believe. Not only plan, but also dream. So let us believe in our dreams. Let's hear it from the choir.
thank you for that inspiring song, choir. I now request our principal to deliver his parting message to the graduating classes. Before I start, I'm quite shocked. Nobody said, who? When Nikolesh came, everybody said, yay. <laughs> now you've got to hear this man giving us advice. Good evening to our chief guest, Dr. Wyas Ranjan, honorary distinguished professor, Indian Space Research Organization, to our chairman, Mr. Bijay Agarwal, the Board of Trustees, Mrs. Neeru Agarwal, Mr. Manas Merhotra, Mr. Jagannath Sobarao, Ms. Adrija Agarwal, Mr. P.K. Mishra, the staff of Greenwood High, parents, well-wishers, and very importantly, the graduating students this year. The reopening of the world after a period of some closure and darkness allows us to come with a sense of renewal at this year's theme. Create your own miracle. To set the tone around miracles, I present to you an interesting perspective on miracles. This is from the author of the Chronicles of Narnia, C.S. Lewis. He says, and I quote, miracles are a retelling in small letters of the very same story which is written across the whole world in letters too large for some of us to see. What I find interesting here is that he presents a miracle as a matter of perspective and scale. Sometimes we are not able to see these things because they are too large, and we need to bring them to scale that people can perceive. They perceive things because they are too large and we need to bring them to scale so that people, people can perceive them. This is particularly pertinent to education. The process of education itself is nothing short of miracles. How knowledge moves from human being to human being, from how each student moves beyond his or her limitations to rise to the challenge of becoming educated. The quote seems to tell us that miracles are possible, but that we also need to make them visible. And so with that sense of being sure, I urge you to create your own with all the power that you have been given at Greenwood High. The story about Jim Carrey, a phenomenal actor, a man who is the reason for so many of our laugh out loud moments, and who never fails to impress us with his charm and comic timing. He was born to Kathleen and Percy, who had been previously blessed with three children. Jim was the youngest of the four. And even in adversity of his parents' illness, he always tried to put a smile on their face. Jim's father lost his job at the age of 52. And this came as a huge blow to the family, both emotionally and financially. Jim, an eighth grader at that time, had to make a lot of compromises and work to earn bread and shelter for the family. He worked as a factory cleaner and caretaker. He says, and I quote, we had problems like all families do, but we had a lot of love. I was loved. We always felt we had each other. He faced a lot of problems with dyslexia, but never failed to bring a smile on everyone's face. His first success came only in the year 1994, after many initial failures at the age of 32. He got a break through roles in the blockbuster movie, The Mask, Batman, Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. 
He has won innumerable awards and recognition, but his life is way more than all of this. His never-ending enthusiasm to bring it, make it big and focus on what is positive, even in the worst conditions, are live examples of how much difference our attitude and response to situation can make. In short, here is someone who created their own miracle, even when every circumstance conspired against creation of it. Now to the present. We've just concluded the most spectacular sporting event, sporting phenomenon in the world, FIFA, Football World Cup 2022. And the man who held the trophy, Lionel Andre Messi, was born as a third among four children to a middle-class family. He says, and I quote, whenever I went to the pitch or to school, I was the smallest among them all. He suffered with growth hormone deficiency and his parents could afford just two years of treatment. But this did not stop Messi. As Argentina's economy was collapsing, Messi was picked up by FC Barcelona, and the family moved to Spain with no money or a job. Today, Messi is a goat. <laughs> goat is an abbreviation for greatest of all time. It has nothing to do with the animal. <laughs> His story teaches us the lessons never learn, never lose hope. For you never know what tomorrow holds for you. He too created his own miracle. Let's dwell on another legend who changed the scape of technology which we are all using today. Many of us can't live without it. He did it by creating his own miracle. Unaware of the miracle that they had created, his biological parents gave him up for adoption immediately after his birth. Soon a working class couple, Paul and Clara Jobs, adopted the boy who became Steve. From a noticeably young early age, Steve was fascinated by computers. At the age of 17, he dropped out of university since his parents could not afford to fund his education. He was completely broke. He had no place to stay, no food, he slept on the floor in his friend's house and used to sell Coke bottles to buy food. He even walked every Sunday 11 kilometers to a temple to get one good meal. But he was extremely good in calligraphy and imagined, which nobody would think at that time, that people would interact with the computer directly. The vision of his which has enabled us using the Mac and the iPhone that we flaunt today. He leaves behind a legacy. Stay hungry, stay foolish. On that note, I would like to spend a little while discussing the education you have received in this great school and its connections with the creation of your own miracle. Education is not just the acquisition of facts and skills, that one applies in the world. I would like to focus on another aspect of education, which is the attitude or disposition. Subject knowledge does not guarantee a cheerful outlook or a disposition for determination, perseverance, and artist work. But at Greenwood High, we have built, we have also built the disposition you will need to take on challenges in the world as you begin to create your own miracles. The, the, the pertinence of these stories comes here as it recalls right attitude which helps you to create your own miracle. I would like to dwell on this for a little while longer because you are our children and will step into the world but often must be reminded to look at the world with a potential for miracles. I also like to examine how we see the world, 
For to me, it represents opportunity and discovery, but also worldliness and materialism. When you go to create these miracles, do not create them around materialism, but in the positive sphere of opportunity and discovery, which will help humanity. This is a caution, as you need to be conscious of the great worldview you have developed independently while at Greenwood High. Ultimately, you will determine the sphere in which you want to create these miracles. Your alma mater, Greenwood High, has trained you to think and become authentic. Your scholastic careers here, molded by the finest teaching and support team, your co-curricular careers formed by the most dedicated team of mentors, and your careers as rounded citizens of this great nation shaped by a caring management, and all these have brought you closer to creating your own miracles. Who are the other people who have made you what you are today? I've placed these people in the near, near clam, clamastic position of this address to emphasize their importance. These are your parents and the other members of your family who have sustained you through difficulties. Think of the sacrifices they have made and the day-to-day -day efforts they made to have you succeed in the most favorable conditions. I ask you to remember your parents and family when you create great works and miracles. No one respects a person who is academically brilliant but cares nothing for other people. Nor do people care for those who cannot handle setbacks in life and who do not reflect an ethical implication of their action. Remember your teachers and all the staff of Greenwood High who have put, in, put you in this advantageous position. Return to us occasionally. Tell us of your achievement or to use today's theme, your miracle. Or if you cannot see us, write to us. And we will be happy to read about you and how you are making Greenwood High proud. It is also a point with me at every graduation to ask you to think of your country. India is the larger entity that has sustained those who have sustained you. What will you give back to this country that has given you so much? With the education you have received at Greenwood High, which is exclusive and second to none, are you not bound to act for this country? Even if you study outside the country, turn your thoughts on what you might do to build a better India. What miracles will you work in India and for India? We have inculcated in you students congeniality and proficiency in various fields while nurturing you in this positive environment. We have given you, our grade 11 ISC students, a dynamic and yet holistic approach with a healthy blend of academics and co-curricular. We hope and believe that you shall carry these qualities and shine bright in the years to come. We take pride in being the only school to offer more than 20 subjects to choose from in grade 11. Our placements, both national and international, are a testimony of our commitment to the same. Hope this reminds you of the platform you got here in Greenwood High. This is the fertile ground, grade 10 students, to write your own miracles. I would like to end with a quotation from an American author, Wayne Dyer. It echoes what I think and what your teachers think and what your parents think. He said, and I quote, I am realistic, I expect miracles. We do realistically expect miracles from you children. You have everything you need. You have a Greenwood education and what is more, you have our best wishes and prayers. Good luck and God bless you.
Thank you, sir. It is a beautiful miracle to be a part of this universe. So, live the life you want to live. Dare to chase the impossible and make it possible. Do the things you have always wanted to do and go for your dreams in this miraculous world. I would like to invite the students of grades 9 and 11 to illustrate the theme of today's ceremony. Create your own miracle. Every sunrise brings with it a fresh beginning, a new promise, and a glimmer of new hope. Every day is what we choose to make it. Let's wake up, have faith, and know that the sun shines just for us. A simple pen of gold wrapped around my soul. Heart forgiven, heart forgiven. What an amazing performance. I now request our honorable chief guest, Dr. Y. S. Rajan, to share a few words of wisdom with the graduates.
नमस्ते गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विद द कस्टमरी थिंग आई स्टार्ट विद द चेयरमैन मैनेजिंग ट्रस्टी विजय अग्रवाल नीरू अग्रवाल देन द बोर्ड ऑफ ट्रस्टीज आई एम हैप्पी टू सी ऑल द बोर्ड ऑफ ट्रस्टीज एवरीबॉडी इज अराउंड एंड द यंग वन इन द वन इज आल्सो देयर i was just talking to her a few minutes ago many of you have to try to see you surpass her she has done a fantastic job and she is still doing i am going to read not going to read out all the names because i am going to finish it within 10 maybe 12 minutes b b the distinguished managing trustees principal of course i don't know whether you love him more or he loves you more in fact i was just thinking i think on balance i think he loves you more than what you people love him <laughs> this is what i gathered i was just sitting there because i was also been a student i was thinking through all the process when those things were going on then the parents guardians and also some some grandparents also may be there wanting to see and because i i am getting older no i become quite old so i have to think in terms of grandparents also <laughs> then staff teachers faculty other support staff and the dear students you are going to graduate out i will give you only some few examples i am not going to talk about rockets and uh, these things etc because no use because by the time you go into the actual one they will all become like regular it will be something else every you should remember one thing every year you may i am happy that was put dreams don't put one dream in your life all of you i am telling the statistics because i don't have the time i am not explaining you will all live 100 years may be fitted with something or i think if you do properly you don't have to be fitted with uh, some hip joint this joint etc but you will live <laughs> okay when i was born 32 years expectancy now i am 78 i may go still something more so you remember that so that life is going to have about 5 to 7 years changes will occur so you calculate out how much changes are going to happen for example mobile it's not not at all 2000 it has just spread so i will explain quite a few things but i am not doing it you think about it so you have to be prepared for a continual change of life a little foresight ability to adapt okay so this is first and most important thing those who are in 12th going into soon will be going into higher studies whichever you choose doesn't matter you don't have to choose always engineering you can do anything arts so many things are possible but remember one thing it's not going to be as simple as what you had here there will be a lot of hand holding here that will be about a step of about 10 times more so that itself will be a very major step up you have to be prepared for that okay then then a few things i will tell a little later do you all realize how lucky you students are you may sing your great etc but internally you will be cribbing on something this was not there that was not there my mom didn't put it in that he could have put somewhere there isn't it tell your heart at least some 50% of you would have felt that i want to give you a quick statistics you know there are 1.5 million schools in india it may be a little bit more now all ages 40000 university is 900 forget all that there are close to 1 million 92200 means but 1 lakh schools which are have only one teacher you have got so many teachers with you so many to take care of you about 400000 unaided school very minimal facilities when i saw that oh it is having 38 acres many universities in india don't have it so you are having that plus all the support of facility so i am going to little rephrase what your principal said you do he said you should do miracles i will say if you don't do miracles in your life all of you both boys and girls that means something is wrong with you okay so you are you are so lucky 
capture on it thanks to your parents first then all the teachers and the dedicated very often the managing trustees because i have seen many of them don't look at so much into the details of it so it is apparent because i was just sitting i'm glad that i could sit through now i will come through quick on some important messages of for life this i have learned in life all experiential i don't tell something theoretical i want us to go through and another thing will be that uh, how do you shape your life and a little bit about what are all the different things which are coming you don't have to think only one big things which hit the headline don't go by any newspapers or even the google search on the top often the google search on the top is how many people like it like 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 that is not reality uh, with the media if you're around with the due respect to them i'll say 95 percent what is given in the media are all hype they are not reality so you have to get through the real life is something different but you people have got a very bright many many opportunities i was thinking when i was sitting there one more thing i will tell before i start that you should all remember your teachers now the, the school captain did wonderful job but you should not evaporate in that 5 6 7 years of very higher education because often people like to quote who become successful they i am an iit i am in in cornell i am in this i am in that but they forget the schools it is the schools he told one thing nicely 14 years ago our parents held our hands and brought it here that 14 years are shaping you afterwards i will give you two examples for it it is just like you are a beautiful clay but the clay has to be done so much to given a shape all others are only doing some painting on the top so remember those who sculpted you if i use a booster analogy in the space everybody will be seeing that what happens that mars that don't going the fellow who boost you above this atmosphere about 15 kilometers or so that is the one which pulls you and pushes out so boost you the school the teachers boost you and one more thing i want to tell you were you, you were telling about some teachers i recently read about one ceo it was some interview going on he was asking whom you remember most in your life was a very successful man whom you remember most in your life who shaped you you know what he said i was thinking what what he is going to say one teacher he told the name he was very we all hated that teacher but later when i went in life i found what that teacher told was what happens in my life so you remember those who have also been little bit of a gadfly little bit of people oh don't do this don't do that you remember them also i also remember knowing these things okay now i will start off with very quick about how the life will be for you you have to remember schools is, is okay even colleges are okay this one there are four uh, four what is the called challenges in life they are called called crisis in career i read it in long long ago when i was in nasa some small little personal magazine first crisis is from the protected environment of schools and colleges where everything is linear in knowledge making you may do so many things but they are still not the real life doing from that when you go into actual work is very very different that is why many who do perform exceptionally scholastically good gold medalist and all that they fail in actual work because first that is the first crisis where your some of your technical work you have to do it because you are not competing on one subject you are competing on completely different it will work will be given that is crisis number 1 crisis number 2 is when you perform well they will give you some more people oh you lead and then get it done some people little bit younger so now you have to learn how to get jobs from them and if you constantly say oh, no 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 that is the one this that that person will push the work upward five people under you your boss will expect that much of work then he would not have done even if you are much better you would have done only two times work so that is the second one of leading then you become a little bit bigger when you get into a bigger size 
general manager, variety of other names which are there, then that crisis is your own subject knowledge, your own what you are doing will be extremely low. The other things come, you have to deal with some this department, that department, mechanical, law, little purchase and other things. The third crisis, you should know how to master it. Fourth crisis is somewhat like your chairman and all. What all you have studied, what all you have done, what all experiences, what he had, all of them will be almost be irrelevant at that level. That will work only for two percent. Then he has to learn so many other things, interfaces with this, interfaces with law, interfaces with policy and all. This happens in every field. I'm not telling only in engineering. Even if a ISRO, if a person ISRO chairman he becomes, he will no longer be, maybe he will be a great mechanical engineer, he will be looking at variety of things. So this one you have to master in life if you have to miracle. Even Steve Jobs, okay, he can't be continuing as an engineer alone. He takes from here this design, that design and other thing, how to do that thing which he did, what made him success in the business. Otherwise, he would have been an inventor and remained there. Uh, similarly, Bill Gates, he struck a deal. He was pursuing two, three lines. Another thing is I was happy that you showed dreams. Don't have one dream. Because it may become a cool de -sac. You know what a cool de -sac means? One road you go, there is nothing further there. Or it may be a deep pit. So, because the life is very different, unpredictable. What is there tomorrow will not be predictable. It is worse than the Bangalore traffic. Bangalore traffic at least releases up sometime, it will be off. So, this one is what you have to do. Be ready. Bill Gates was two, three. One which worked. Then he struck a deal with Intel to give the software. You have to read some of it. Uh, it's good, nice stories, it will come. That made him the success. Otherwise, business would have been not good. So each one of them, on one side, they are good inventors and doing something, do good business practice, but also you should know how to strike a good deal. And those opportunities in the modern world, in our time, okay, dekega, we will think, we will do tomorrow. Now things are all moving trains, moving jets. So you should know how to capture them and make the best of it. So this is one thing you have to have, these three crises. Then another thing I want to tell you on a personal level, you people to achieve that, any success or anything in life, there is one thing which is one, don't give up. You won't give up only when you have got a physical strength, health. So you have to take care. I am increasingly getting worried that many of the young people are not able to sustain a first one. Oh, some romance went off, fellows are committing suicide. Something went wrong, they are committing suicide. They go 411 road accidents per day in India. 85% of them are young people. Not just only some fellows who are there. So don't try to take unnecessary risk with your life. Your bodies are most important if you want to achieve in life. Your life is most important if you want to achieve in life. I will tell you only three items. I can show many examples. Don't abuse. There are three. Use comes in. Abuse, disuse, misuse. Abuse is, I keep my, you know, that is not abuse. This one is misuse. Spine is supposed to be erect. You do this, then you couch, all that, that is a disuse of the body for which it is not done. Uh, no, no, misuse of the body. Disuse is one thing. Are you don't even want to bend. Then your thing will go off. You will ask somebody to serve you. You won't wash. You don't use your fingers. After some time, when you are young, you won't know. After 35, the body watches and hits you starts hitting you, okay? So disuse is not using. Abuse is something, oh, keep on doing so many, not taking rest, only three hours sleep is enough. You may, you may do because, uh, okay, FIFA you can see, but you have to try to see, compensate it for the six to seven hours sleep per day. Food, I want to go hungry, I want to eat something. So these three, two you don't do. Now I'll very quickly tell about 
the opportunities of the world. You don't have to think only in terms of space, atomic energy, or this one, AI, because that's all the newspapers will do. There are so many things in life. Say space, we put all that. You don't have communication if you don't have a chain. Any activity, any breakthrough, even for iPhone, Steve Jobs stuck with great deal with China. That is for manufacturing. He does the design. It comes in any uh, iPhone things you do, this one designed in such and such, such and such, and all that it will be given. So you, the whole supply chain is towards the technology. It could be health, it could be anything, to out. See the COVID vaccination. <coughs> it's not just the inventor of the vaccination. Not only the manufacturer, the whole supply chain up to the turn which do. So that whole thing who manages, you don't have to do everything. So you, if you fit in in one of them, Uber is a great example. They don't, don't make car, they don't do anything. They aggregate it. That you have to see a need and then try to do that. So this is one thing you have to remember. So I will tell you a few examples. They are there in space, they are there in uh, atomic energy. See, nobody thought anything is going to happen when suddenly a nuclear fusion is coming. It may become a reality. There are so many of other space things coming, but the downstream is which gives money. You have to aim at money. Principal rightly said you give to India. That is very correct. But to give India, with, if you don't make wealth, you can't give. You will only be a beggar. So you have to make money, you have to create wealth. You create wealth here. If you go outside, also doesn't matter. But from that, you can still go. The whole supply chains, anywhere you can fit. I will give you an example, even in agriculture. There are so many things coming, not just precision agriculture itself. So many things coming which are in which it can be anywhere but in a bioengineering to other supply chains, other putting into the system. Then there is the e-markets which are coming, which will, even though there was a farmer agitation and other things, it was taken off. Very soon, agriculture will open up. That gives so many aggregating possibility. You know, aggregation of Uber, that's why I gave an example. He doesn't do anything. So they aggregate, but those type of things will come. But don't think that it, life is only in, in the IT alone. For all the IT, all e-vehicles, how will you recycle? Waste management, waste minimization is going anywhere but in lithium to anywhere else. I want to give you one example. You all think IT, IT, IT. See, I am, I am a man who right from the beginning have been working space and for me it is a communication. All information transfer. But behind it, there is so much of manufacturing. Do you know? You see, you will see data center. Data center you would have put. Data center should be put in India, here, there, etc. Do you know one thing? One reasonable size data center for a cloud management takes about, I think, 200,000, uh, 2 lakhs or so, or 500,000 gallons, US gallons of water. So a fellow who doesn't have, because some states in US are facing problem, how to give that water. How do you get it? It is by a continuous recycling of water. We waste water. So recycling water will become very important. People recycling, waste, recycle. So that whole set of new things are there. Your miracles is not only going to be in space, going to find a new microorganism, is also going to be in this. Maybe one microorganism may be the thing which may do the cleaning. One doesn't know. So you have to think in terms of cluster of technologies and businesses and the supply chain. This you keep it in mind because you are all bright students. I'm explaining this to you. You keep it in mind while studying, you do well. And if there are some rules, there are many rules in India which give for uh, uh, studies. Even the school cannot escape everything. ISSC is little better, but still they can't escape it. The stupid rule is there, you follow it. You complete it, you grab it, and then get the marks, and then this only is the entry, this is the need. All that need, beat, all that thing you do. But at the same time, you look like learned through beyond. And even through the all crisis, you have to learn to do that. A little bit of foresight and doing. But attention to detail is very important. 
Indians terribly lack it. The countries which do extremely well, Germany, Japan and all, attention to detail. All those who have succeeded, attention to detail. You Steve Jobs life, you quoted a few. You look at his life. Look at Elon Musk. Oh God, you have to read that thing about his life. God, it's fantastic because I understand all of the technologies of it also. Fantastic. So the attention to detail, but not only him. There are so many others. Attention to detail is important along with the foresight. You have got a lot of opportunities. As I said, you will all remember the school also. Remember the teachers. And of course, you have to remember the parents. And the grandparents, etc. If they are still alive, when you do really achieve. But even after that also you can remember. Uh, because I got two grandsons, so therefore I have to tell that to me, for myself. So, do all that. Enjoy life. Do it. It is going to be easy. But, you have to be working hard. There is no escape from working hard. Nothing comes. There is nothing in the world which is miracle. Okay? God bless. And I thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity. It was a great thing for me. I went to Ahmedabad. It's a great institution called uh, uh, Bob Swaminarayan. What they have achieved, you find it from this one. They did their great. It is something like miracle there. Then I went, it so happened, I showed the uh, Mahatma Gandhi thing, ashram and coming fresh. How that old man had thought about what he will do with the 18, 19, 18 to 30, great. But there are many others. He's not the only example. There are many others. You will all do whichever way. I may not be around to see, but you do it and remember all of them. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you, sir, for those thought-provoking words. Graduates, as you leave the portals of the school and embark on a new journey, learn to write your own story, your own book. Remember to release your inhibitions, for today is where your book begins.
starting today, we need to forget what is gone, appreciate what still remains, and look forward to what's coming next. Thank you, choir. Speaking on behalf of the parents, we have Mr. Deepak Manan. He's the Vice President of CLM Software Logistics at SAP Labs India and a proud parent of Deepti Manan. Please join me in welcoming him. Respected chief guests, principal sir, the VP ma'am, and all the distinguished guests, teachers, parents, and my dear students. Good evening. What is a school? Is it a place where we make a lot of friends? Yes. Is it a place where we study, learn, enjoy? Yes. But I would say a school is a nursery, a nursery for the future citizens of our country. It's a place which sets the atmosphere for the buds that you are today to bloom into these fragrant flowers of tomorrow. The school not only gives you a lot of skills, academics, life skills, but it also fosters a lot of leadership skills, qualities that helps you to make this world even better place to live in, right? A better society to live in. These were precisely the thoughts that I had in mind when I and my wife, we walked in a decade ago, 10 years ago, into the school campus. Yeah, of course, with Deepti, who was then a tiny tot, into the school. All round development, was something that was top on our mind. I'm so glad when I look back now that we decided to be a part of the Greenwood High family. Sports, academics, co-curricular activities, everything under one roof. The school provided a host of these opportunities and I'm glad Deepti was able to grab most of them and make the best use of it. My dear students, your school does not only help you to master the subjects that you have, right? It, it helps, to, it, has, it has actually helped you to become really self-confident, passionate, and empathetic individuals so that you are ready to take on new challenges in the world. To the principal, sir, and to all the teachers, a big thank you. You have been able to provide a psychologically safe space for each and every student over here to express himself or herself, to dream big, to enjoy as they learn and grow. To all the students, just a word of advice. Trust your skills, stand your ground, never give up. If you do that, you will make sure that every obstacle you face would just melt away. Let me sign off with a small, small story. There was Gautam Buddha who was in the middle of a village sitting under a huge tree and people from all over the country were reaching him, seeking his advice, guidance. There was a small kid who used to see this happening every day. Curious as kids are, he asked his mom, mom, what's so special about this guy? Who is he? Why, why are people reaching him? And the mother replied, oh, that is Gautam Buddha. He's extremely learned, pious man. And, and people are reaching him to find out about their future. With a twinkle in his eyes, the kid reached out to Gautam Buddha. And he asked, Oh, pious man, I have a butterfly in my hand. Can you tell the future of this butterfly? He had everything planned in his head. He thought, if Buddha says that this butterfly is dead, I would loosen the grip 
and let the butterfly fly. And if he says that this butterfly is going to be alive, I will clench my fist and smother the butterfly and it will die. He was all ready to prove Buddha wrong. And my dear friends, students, do you know what Buddha replied? He said, oh little boy, the future of that butterfly lies in your hands. So just as someone has rightly said, the best way to predict your future is to go create one. So my dear students, all the very best, go create your future. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. The graduates must hold fast to their principles as they proceed in life in order to be where they dream in the future. I implore our chairman, Mr. Bijay Agarwal, to lead the graduates' pledge and to share a few words of wisdom with them. Good evening, everyone. Dear students, please repeat this pledge after me. We, the students of grade 10 and 12, batch of 2022-23, do solemnly pledge to practice and preserve the values of integrity, dedication and determination to stand by what is right always in our pursuit of purpose. We shall strive to uphold the virtues that have been taught to us at Greenwood High and help in influencing our society and the world at large. Thank you. Please sit down. Our chief guest, Dr. Y.S. Rajan, dear Girinod family, and my dear students. First of all, I want to congratulate each and every one of you who are graduating here today for your efforts and your outstanding results. You dear students make us proud each year. You are indeed the flag bearers of Greenwood High and you always keep us shining. Today, what I want to tell you is a bit different. I want to share a story. There was a young boy, just 14 years old, who moved from Kishanganj in Bihar after his 10th board exam to Raniganj in West Bengal to live with his elder sister and to complete his BCom degree. Here, he started working in a small novelty store that was owned by his brother-in-law. He would travel by train frequently to Calcutta, a distance of about 200 kilometers, leaving early morning at 5 a.m. and returning home by midnight. From Calcutta, the young boy would pay, buy new goods for the store to keep his customers happy. And the sales of the store soon went up from rupees 300 a day to rupees 10 to 12,000 rupees per day. Thanks to the young boy's keen insights into marketing. In the process, the young boy learned some valuable lessons early in life. He learned how to negotiate, market, and sell. He learned how to listen to customers. That young boy 
is now standing before you. Today, I am able to use these invaluable lessons to run my own company, Salar Puriya Satwa, that has grown into multiple verticals. Education being the one that is closest to my heart. When I started my journey, my first salary was just 1,250 rupees. It is not important how much you earn. And what is important is your dedication and will to succeed. And that young boy knew this at a very early age. Why am I telling you this story? Because, dear students, I believe that if you believe in yourself, work hard, and chase your dreams, you can achieve great things. I studied in a modest village school, but the journey from that small school to the getting a degree from Harvard Business School in 2015 is a journey that I cherish the most. <laughs> it's not important where you come from. It's important where you want to go. Remember, it's the hard days, the dark days, the days that challenge you to your very core, that determine who will become who, who you will become. There are many disappointments that you will face or have already faced. You expected an A plus, but you got an A. You may apply for an internship at Google, but you may, but you may not get it. Your favorite teacher moved to another city. The friend who you trusted let you down. Never take your failures personally. Not everything that happens to you is your fault. Some things will be beyond your control. Our moments of growth come from our toughest moments of failure. Build resilience. It's a muscle. Exercise it, and you can always be strong. Stop competing with others. Take a break from social media and make real life connections. <laughs> Dear students, today is a day to thank the many people who have shaped your personality. Begin with your parents your teachers, your siblings, your friends, and always remember this. Family is not an important thing. It is everything. <laughs> right from when you begin your life to the very end, it is family, your siblings, who will always be by your side. Respect them, nurture them, protect them. Dear students, today is also important because you have ended one chapter in your life and you are going to write the new one. I wish you only the best in this important journey going forward. I would like to end by thanking the entire Girinod family who have stood by you, given you support, right through the year and help save each one of you into who you are. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. None of this would be possible without your support. Once again, congratulations to each one of you and God bless. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. You have to take risks. We will only understand the miracle of life fully when we allow the unexpected to happen. Paulo Coelho. The graduates acknowledge that they must reach up and never give up until they have touched the sky. A farewell is also a beginning to a new journey, to a new tomorrow. Thank you, graduates. I quote William Arthur Ward. Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. I entreat Mrs. Marlene Charles to propose the vote of thanks. A very good evening to one and all present here. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. It is indeed my proud privilege to propose the vote of thanks. I take this opportunity to extend a hearty thanks to our chief guest, Dr. Y.S. Rajan, for accepting our invitation in spite of his busy schedule. 
Sir, your presence is an honor to our institution and has made this occasion memorable for the graduates. I may like to express our sincere thanks to our chairman, Mr. Vijay Agarwal, our members of the Board of Trustees, Mrs. Neeru Agarwal, Mr. Manas Mehrotra, Mr. Jagannath Subara, Ms. Adrija Agarwal, and Mr. P.K. Mishra for always being there with us and offering timely help, guidance, and support. I also extend my heartfelt thanks to our principal, Mr. Aloysius DeMello, and vice principal, Mrs. Elizabeth Joseph, who have always been a support and guidance to all of us here at Greenwood. I would also like to thank our administrator, Mr. Krishna, and his entire team for their excellent planning and dedicated work. My thanks is due to the transport department, cafeteria, IT department, hostel wardens, and the sick bay staff who contributed their share to the success of today's program. I would also like to thank all the participants who made the event a memorable one. I shall be failing in my duty if I don't express my thanks to all the parents gathered here. It is your dream that has brought these graduating students thus far. Dear graduates, we create miracles by facing our fears, by believing in ourselves beyond our insecurities, and by taking active steps, no, no matter how small, to better our lives. I am sure that all of you have it in you to do all of these things. You are your own miracle maker. Once again, I would like to thank one and all for being with us this evening and making this day a wonderful and memorable one for our dear graduates. Thank you. And now, the anticipated moment. I request Mrs. Neeru Agarwal, Mr. Manas Merotra, Ms. Adrija Agarwal, and Mr. Jagannath Subarao to distribute the mementos to the grade 10 students. Harshika Chandra, Chandra Rajeshwar, Jia Vora, Tanvi KS, Dhwani Koli, Kashvi Deepak Thakkar, Trisha Arvind, Naisa Srivastava, Harshita S. Reddy, Nilofar Sharif, Avyakta Jai Shankar, Kirtana Rajesh, Duty Nirmal, Nitya Jyoti Radesh, Shubra Chatterjee,
जय वी प्रसाद अक्षिता शंकर नारायणन रूही चावला माही मिलान राजने साई श्री लास्या पुनति साई श्री लास्य पुनति पी एस त्रिशाला हिमानी रेड्डी नियति अपरंजनी इशिता लद्दा महती विवासवान शास्त्री दिशा साई एम अद्विका मिश्रा सिया चंद्रा निकिता श्री विथनमुडी प्रीशा अरोरा आर्ना गुप्ता एलेना तोमर जयतिका गटानी वेदिका गोकुल मानसवी सतीश मिराय मैरी थॉमस अनन्या मुकुंदा पलक सूरी नवनीत कौर श्लोका सुपर्णी तिराला मधुमिता जोशी अंश्रुता रुद्रेश्वर तेजस्विनी एस वी अनिका दे रिया सुमिता राकेश श्रुति नायर आर्य गुप्ता जीविका दियालानी अर्शिया ए स्मिथ रेचल डैनियल आरुषि हेगरे ऐश्वर्या राठौर श्रुति विजय कुमार अक्षया लक्ष्मी सतीश त्रिशा शुभ आस्मी पटेल दीप्ति मेनन गौरी श्रीवास्तवा ऋषिका वासुरेड्डी जानवी मेहता श्रीलक्ष्मी सीवी धारणी सनापला चारवी एम ध्रुति कृष्णा हंसिका कटकम
निवेदिता एस कुमार स्मायाना मेसवानी सोहाना नागमंगला अशोका मानविता रेड्डी पूर्णा विवेक दिशिता बजाज आलिया रिजवी आदिति सतीश इंचारा कोनो रविंद्र आवनी अग्रवाल अनन्या वर्मा रचना कुमार सोनोमा अवरेल कोटागिरी निकिता चावली अव्या जैन सहस्रा यारा पारुल शर्मा रिशिमा रॉय अक्षयनी अग्रवाल श्रिया पटनायक ईवा थॉमस सहिति पडला शिरीन विज अनिका कोटरम आशना जैन अरुणी सिंह आनंदी सहा हरिणी जी अयर जित्या बंसल देवीना झा मानशा सेथी खनक गोहर गेब्रियल यास्मिन सतीश सिया दिगेश पंचल शांभवी प्रवीण ऐश्वर्या गरीने नायसा जैसवाल उर्वी मुरगुरे अद्विका वल्लूरी रेड्रापल्ली पावनी साई आहाना दाहिया वृंदा अगरवाल प्रियंका भाविक पटेल स्नेहा शर्मा दुर्गाली प्रशांत निकम श्रिया प्रदीप करडगी श्रीनिधि अक्कना प्रगडा अनन्या सेथी
Pradhi Garg, Riya Sinha. Shreya Sheshadri, Ranjini Naranaswami Sridhar. Thank you, uh, Mr. Jagannath Subharao. I request Mr. P. K. Mishra to join Ms. Adrija on stage to do the honors. Nitin Kumar Naveen Raj, Hanish V. Veer Nitin Aaron Joseph. Yasho Vardhan Singh Chauhan, Adyant Anand. N. Parinit Reddy, Mrinank Ravi Shankar. Tanush Bhomik, Arham Kothari. Diljit Baiju, Vivan Khare. Arav Balaji, Arjit Singhal. Diljit Baiju. Arjit Singhal, Arav Balaji. Siddhant Sachin Fursule, Anirudh Matta. Manik Bhatia, Tirthik Sen Gupta. Manik Bhatia, Tirthik Sen Gupta. Varki Jaxi Varghese, Riyansh Jaiswal. Gagan T. D. Vedant Narayan Swami. Alok Bhumi Reddy, Aditya Bansal. Arav Gandhi, Tane Sethi. Matthew Joshua, Albert J. Palatingal. Viren Hari, Sri Ram Satish. Arjun Jagannathan, Christopher Joseph John.
हर्षवर्धन नीलेश भुसारी प्रियांश जोशी विदित गोपाल कोवाली अदित रस्तोगी वशिष्ठ देसी राजू प्रकृत लाहिरी श्लोक राजीव मिथुन एल मिथुन मिथुन एल मिथुन एल सचिन मंजुनाथ माधव रामू नायर प्रकृत लाहिरी आर्यमन झलानी राघव जग्गी सोहन शानभाग अगस्त्या शेट्टी समर्थ अरकेरे विश्वनाथ केबी आद्यंत वजा तनुष वेंकट पी जॉन डेविड पुलिकोटिल करी फिनिहास जॉय सोहन रघुराम अंकित जयराज के पी नील करियप्पा वरुण वी प्रभव निखिल पुरंदरे सर्वेश अय्यर अर्नव गुप्ता कृषिव राजीव शौर्य सिन्हा अक्षत गोयल हरीश साजिद चंबाली सोहन जस्ती आरव बत्रा अमन सुरेखा साहिल सिंदरी प्रतीक जैन नैरित मैती विवान दीपेश शाह आरव जैन सिद्धार्थ चोपड़ा अर्नव वर्मा सिद्धांत पटेल साकेत एस आदित्य सूद रोमित मकर अमंत मैया
Arne Gupta, Samrud Naidu. Aditya Singh Chandel, Ayan Ali. Shrujan Ravi Gowda, Arya Shetty. Dhruv Reddy Bhumi Reddy. Mayan Hazra Jaswant Reddy. Anshul Santosh Kulkarni, Gaurav Sumuk. Vedant Patak, Shreyas Medhavi Ja. Savit Jaiswal, Divyan Shagarwal. Agambir Singh Arora, Likhit Sukhavasi. Arav Shurbar, Siddharth Suresh. Joe George, Sonit Saraf. Ishan Kuripuri, Daksh Abhi. Mukund Kishor, Ishan Bos. Anish Gupta, Shlok Srivastava. Dev Dube, Swaraj Panda. Charan Shridhar, Madhav Ramu Nair. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Neeru Agarwal, Mr. Manas Meherotra, Ms. Adrija Agarwal, and Mr. P.K. Mishra for doing the honors. I now request our principal, Mr. Aloysius DeMello, to please come up on stage. Can we have the lights off and grade 10, can you stand with your diyas in your hand? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating batch of grade 10, 2022-23. Children, can we have you standing and I would like to have the lights on, please? All grade 10 need to stand. It is with deep grief in my heart that I need to mention a little girl whom I miss today. Hannah Mary Thaliat. I remember when she came to my office when she was in grade nine and fought with me to go for an MUN. I miss her. 
And among this celebration, we know that she is safe with her creator. So let's pause a minute and say a prayer for her soul and for the family. Almighty and everlasting God, who knowest the necessities of all thy children, have in thy holy keeping those dear to us who have departed this life in thy faith and love. Grant that they may grow more and more into thy perfect likeness. Give them eternal rest and may light perpetual shine upon them. Comfort, O Lord, all who mourn for the loss of those near and dear to them. Be with them in their sorrow. Give them faith to look beyond the troubles of this life and know that neither death nor life can separate us from the love of God. Kindly be seated. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I now request our chief guest, Dr. Y.S. Rajan, our chairman, Mr. Bijay Agarwal, and our principal, Mr. Aloysius DeMello, to distribute the mementos and certificates to the grade 12 students. Ananjan Prashant Kutuba. <laughs> Rishon Thomas John. Lakshmi Kurup. <laughs> Meghna P. Radhakrishnan. Alia S. Tewari. <laughs> Sirin Patnayak. Priyanka Garg. <laughs> Naga Tejaswini Pati Pati. <laughs> Mehek Suri. Himakshi Bihani. <laughs> Ushika Bhatia. <laughs> Varsha Devaya Monanda.
Tanisha Chatterjee. Mansi Menon. Brinda Konakondla. Anushka Sarkar. Mitali Bhola. Suhani Sharan Kumar Shetty. Harshita Rao Renati. Anishka Ravindran. Megan Single. Kriti Prasad. Ananya Ramji. Diksha Narayan. Chitra Mishra. Shri Gauri Shastri. Myra Bhatia. Monisha Bapatla. Srishti Harlarka. Anushka Nair. Teresa Maria Syriac. Arya K. Anup. Chandana Priya G.S.
Mohammed Ilan. Ananya Kalmani. Satvik Sridhar. Harati Sai Durupudi. Leher Bihani. Kaira Dhar. Anvita S. Nair. Sia Mittal. Shravya Ayer. Pinesetti Sudiksha. Manas Vini Balaji. Sanjana Sridhar Guru. Aditya Srinivas. Rashika Giraya. Prakya Raj. Jaya Goel. Tanuja Sharma. Vandana Bhutra. Sahed Agarwal. Vidhi Gupta. Aditi Shruvatsa Dilip. (laughs) 
Jia Sharma. Shristi Raj. Riya Modi. Priyata Krishna. Muskan Goel. Prisha Kumar. Samanvi Rajput. Twisha Shankar. Roshni Darira. Kanisha Sharma. Anika Agarwal. Anand Mudappa. P. Dhruv. Ved Ramesh. Pradmyan Dhani. Devansh Panda. Gaurav Chavla. Anirudh Singh. Aditya Saxena. Dhruv Menon. Rishabh Aryan Vidu. Agastya Veer Singh. Wow. 
Mohammad Ryan. Nikhilesh Balakandan. S. Yogesha. Vikas Reddy. Pratyush Mahanti. Aditya Bhattacharya. Logus Dugar. Vikramaditya Singh Chauhan. Siddharth Nair. Harish Vijay Kumar. Rudro Bhattacharya. Shivansh Anand. Siddhant Vijay Gulabani. Par Vrastogi. Aryan Lath. Akasha Munaganuri. Sarthak Shukla. Tapas Banerjee. Vinamra Srivastava Rahul Pandit Aditya Nair
सामर्थ मध्यस्थ शाश्रिक ए अन्वे मोघे थैंक यू Grade twelve, can you please put your diyas on? And may I request you to put the lights off? All right. Can you put the lights on for a minute, please, while I change the tassel? I now ask you to move your tassels. from your left to your right with a movement of the tassel you have made the transition from a graduand to a graduate ladies and gentlemen the graduating batch of 2022 23 switch the lights off please as they exit
for that inspirational rendition. Thank you, graduates. We have immense pride and faith in you. Remember, when you dream big, miracles happen. So go and create your own miracle. We wish you all the very best. We thank you all for being a part of the ceremony and wish you a wonderful evening. I request all of you to please head towards the sports arena for dinner. Thank you.